Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, restriction endonuclease mapping of a DNA molecule. So you can see here that I've drawn a little uh, gel electrophoresis uh, results chart um, of the uncut DNA, uh, the cut using an eco R1 enzyme, restriction enzyme, and using an MSP2 restriction enzyme here, and then the combination of the two here. So you can see that the uncut has 2.5 uh, kilobase pairs. Um, when you cut it with um, the Eco R1, you get one linear molecule of four kilobase pairs. So if we start off with this circular and then you cut right here with Eco R1, you get a molecule that is four kilo base pairs, right? And then we'll move on here to uh, the MSP2. So if you cut with MSP2, you get two results. So you get one that is 3.5 and one that is 0 0.5. So if the linear molecule is four kilo base pairs, and then you get one that's 3.5, so let's say we cut right here, and you cut again and you get a 0 0.5, then it must be around here. So there's an MSP2 cut site there and an MSP2 cut site there. So that must just be because there are two sequences that are palindromic that MSP2 recognizes and cuts at, and they are 0 0.5 kilobase pairs apart or 3.5 kilobase pairs apart. So then you'll get, uh, if you were to look at this, you'd get one that's 3.5 and one that is um, 0 0.5. Finally, where it gets interesting is in the fourth cell. So in this fourth cell, we have one molecule that's about, uh, let's do this in a different color, three kilobase pairs, and then one that's really large and 0 0.5 once again. So if we were to try and figure out how this molecule has been cut, we would look at this circle here, and we try and use the information given on this side and apply it to the combination information on this side. So we have one molecule, or one piece, is just two pieces that are, or sorry, there's, since this is really large here, you're gonna have two pieces that are 0 0.5 kilobase pairs long. So you're going to have two sites that are 0 0.5 kilobase pairs long. So if you minus, if you go 4 minus 3 and then minus 0 0.5, you still have 0.5 left. So that must mean that there's two of these since this is a larger uh, molecule showing on the gel electrophoresis chart. So here you have one cut site, two cut sites, and three cut sites. So how do you figure out which enzyme is cutting where? Well, you can see on the uh, 3.5 and 0 0.5 MSP cuts, you can see that uh, one of these has to be 3 and one of these has to be 0 0.5. So I'm going to guess right now that this is one of the cut sites and this is a, another cut site because then you get the same lengths that you would as we did up here. So that leaves the Eco R1 cut site to be here because it is one cut site that is four kilobase pairs long. And if it's 0 0.5 away from the one MS2 cut site, then that makes total sense for our results in the um, gel electrophoresis chart here. So that is how you do a restriction enzyme uh, mapping of a DNA molecule. And once again, this is used every day for research and they can get much more complicated than this. You can have molecules that look like this and have cut sites all over the place. And certain parts of the cut sites will be um, antibiotic resistant. And this is important for if you wanted to um, incorporate your own DNA into a uh, molecule. So say you wanted to be antibiotic resistant, you would incorporate it right here, because then if you were to put, to, just to make sure that your uh, molecule or your DNA molecule was incorporated in, you would put say this molecule into 
a bath of some sort of antibiotic and the cells that the bacteria that die were not antibiotic resistant and this did not get incorporated into it and the ones that live obviously incorporated this into their plasmid so you can see that this research this method of research is used all the time and there's different cut sites everywhere and using these maps is very important to be able to it's important to know how to use these maps so that you can decipher based on where the cuts were and where how big the plasmids were and, uh, and how many cuts each enzyme gives you in the certain DNA molecule. It helps you figure out where the cut sites were and where the individual um, palindromic sequences are within a plasmid molecule.